Hello again guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance tutorial. Today we're going, going to solve for you a very important and crucial problem. Sometimes you think that your tokens has been disappeared. Maybe you think they got stolen, but actually they are still on your wallet. So sometimes you cannot see them on MetaMask. So if you have this kind of problem that you have, you know that you have tokens in your wallet, but you cannot find them on your MetaMask wallet, you came to the right place because today we're gonna solve this issue for you. But before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and click the small bell notification button so anytime I post this kind of videos or any other videos about decentralized finance, you can watch them and learn and get more education as soon as possible. Now let's get into business. Let's say you have a MetaMask wallet, doesn't matter if it's a Firefox browser, Chrome browser or Brave browser. In this example, I'm gonna use Brave browser and suddenly you cannot find your tokens. Maybe you got some tokens, maybe you got BUSD on Binance chain, maybe you got Ethereum, maybe you got a Cake token, maybe you got Doge coins. doesn't matter, but you open your MetaMask wallet and you cannot find your tokens. So in that case, you can see that I have only 0.09 BNB, but I know that I got some BUSD, but they did not exist here. So what can we do? What is the solution? It's only because MetaMask does not show this kind of token. So the first thing you can do, but not always it will work, is go to pancakeswap.finance to the swap and then click here and then automatically it detects some kind of main tokens that you have in your wallet. In that case, I have BUSD. So PancakeSwap swap a user interface shows me this kind of 15.4 BUSD that I have in my wallet. But let's say that it's maybe more unique token, maybe token that by default does not exist in PancakeSwap. So what can you still do if you want to find it and look at it and maybe send it using your MetaMask wallet? So the first thing that you need to do is go to BSC scan if you're on Binance Smart Chain, if, it's on, if you're on Ethers, if you're on Ethereum, then Etherscan. If you're on Polygon Matic, then Polygon Scan. But in that case, where the example is on Binance Smart Chain. So I'm gonna go to uh, BSC Scan. And now I'm gonna open my MetaMask wallet just here and click here on my wallet address. I want to copy my wallet address. This is my public wallet address that I can actually fill in the input form and then search for all the transaction and all the assets that I have on by BSC Scan. If you have assets, they will never be missed on BSC scan. You always, you will always see them there. So I'm gonna paste the address right here and go to search. Now, this is the view of my wallet. So my, this is my wallet, my public wallet. Everyone can watch it, but only I can actually send tokens from it to other wallet and send transaction because I am the only one who has the private key. So there is the public key, which is the address, and then the private key that I control. So it's transparent. This is the beauty of blockchains. Everything is transparent. And right now you can see that I have balance. This is the address. And right here I have overview. I have balance, I have 0.09. BNB, which is equivalent to around $45 and under tokens just here, if I open this kind of thing, I can see that I have multiple tokens. So the first token that I see is BUSD. This is a token that BSC scan can detect and it actually can also detect the US dollar price for this token. So BUSD is packed to the US dollar. So I have 15.41 BUSD, which is equivalent to 15 per dot for two it's a bit change it changes a little bit but it's usually pegged to the dollar you can see that i have other like uh, shit tokens i have flux i have m and -E and i have actually moo token from the last time from the last previous video that i stacked my cake tokens in um beefy finance in order to show you guys so you can see i have also stakeable tokens zero bar tokens and ever which means that i stake some cake tokens on bfi and pancake swap so this is all the tokens that i actually have in the wallet and you will never miss any tokens if you check it with bsc scan because they actually scan the blockchain and see what kind of assets your wallet has so now i want to add the bsd token to the metamask in order to access it maybe i want to send it to another wallet doesn't matter i want or maybe i just want it to be presented on, on my metamask wallet so i'm gonna click here on busd and then it will redirect me to the token page, to the token page, including the smart contract of the token and all the information, including the price, the diluted market cap, all the holders, etc., etc. But the information that I need from this page is actually the token 
address the smart contact that represent the token so this is right here on the right you see profile summary under profile summary there is the contract so i'm gonna click here and then copy address once i copy the address i'm gonna open my metamask wallet and click right here add token and i'm gonna paste here the token address so you can see that automatically metamask uh, connects to the binance smart chain and pull the token symbol and the decimals decimals from the a blockchain itself so I can see that it automatically detects that it's BUSD I will click next add tokens and there you go guys <clears throat> now you will have your BUSD tokens presented on your MetaMask wallet so there is no reason to freak out if you suddenly cannot find your tokens the short version is go to BSC scan search for your wallet address search for the tokens that is missing go into this token copy its smart contract address and then right after add it to your metamask wallet so that was it this is the simplest guide that i could make and i hope that uh, actually it helped you guys and and it solved your issue let me know in the comments if you have any other issues or if you have any other questions i will be more than happy to help and please consider subscribing and smashing the like but the like button so uh, youtube can expose this video to many more people Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.